The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, mid month, the 15th of August. Oh, month went quickly. Is going by quickly. We've got the Dow up 389. At 40,399, like the economic news, uh, lower inflation we're looking at. And what are we looking at? We're looking at a very sharp leg B right here. Now I can actually, I didn't think I'd be able to do it so quickly. I can draw in this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone and see what happens if we get there, say, by next week. That gives that 40,900 area. A lot of resistance, and we're at 40,390. Look at the S&P. S&P also up, so it's up 0.96%. The S&P is up 1.08%. It's actually this extension of leg B over the resistance line. Remember, we drew this in yesterday using very simple Chapman Wave techniques right there. And we're looking at, well, the day's young. Uh, half an hour into the opening uh, session, <clears throat> 59 now, let's call it 60 up at 55.15. That's really good. That's what I was saying yesterday. We need to get into the 55 teens, and that'll be good. Well, we got there, and now the day is young. We'll see what happens by the end of the day. QQQ looking at um, also break to the upside, up 9 at 40, 4.71. Uh, very good action here. Now, the MACD and Stochastic are all turning up. Look, the 9 period moving average, even with this fantastic move from 4.23 to at the high today of 471, that nine period moving average hasn't yet turned green. Let's see in the S&P. I was not looking at that. Yep, turned green, but the day is young. You have to wait for the close. Let's see if the Dow does the same thing. Uh, no, not yet. Let's go to the IWM, still lagging quite a bit. It is up sharply, up four points at 210.60. Leg B, this is good action, but not great action. It's very, it's nice to see. Gold had a big move up. Earlier in the day, it was up about uh, 19 points or so, up to the 2508 level. Now it's at 2485. That inside track repellent zone. Wow, what a what a repellent zone. Let's go to bonds. Uh, bonds are sharply down, down 1.1 and 26.30 seconds. Oh, that means yields are popping to the upside. And yet the market at the moment is ignoring it. I think the market's going to take it. I think that we're going to talk about it in the coming show. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up in a few minutes. So we need to talk about this divergence and check out my opening call, Daily News. See you in a few.